Is that a point gained or two dropped there? Um, I'm always going to say really two dropped um, at home because um, I think we should be winning our home games or at least be looking to win it. And I think that was obviously evident at the end when it was 1-1. I mean, we could have settled for the draw against a team who I think will be relatively in the top four. Um, but we'll probably say two points dropped. I think on the chances that we had, yes, they had chances, but I think our ones were a bit more clear cut. Um, we just missed a little bit of composure, which we had ironically last week. Um, but fair play to the lads because the first half wasn't going our way. We are getting a bit overrun. Um, they were the better side. But we stuck in it. Um, we had to change it probably about three or four times in terms of the personnel and sort of like the formation. But that's 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 what we're here for, do you understand? And the, the beauty of the season is that we've got a lot of versatile players so we can interchange at uh, different moments during the game. Um, but look, we, we got back into it, like I said, at 1-1 and obviously on another day, we sort of, you know, we come away with a winner with a bit of composure. But like I said, credit and it's, it's the new resilience of the lads, which I, which I think we will need going forward during the season, especially in games like this where it's not necessarily pretty. But, you know, if we can find a little bit of quality in, um, you know, that little bit of strength going through, um, it should stand as well, especially at home. Like I said, I don't expect us to lose too many games at home, if any. Um, so we'll take it as a point. Um, and I think a few that, from looking at the results already, I think a few that teams who are usually relatively at the top as well drawn as well so it's probably not the worst result in the world um everyone that's come in seems to be flying at the moment i think we've got a really hungry squad everyone is keen to play everyone's keen to uh, get on board with this kind of identity of playing football um and i think we've got a really strong season ahead and you'll only see improvements i think each week because of that uh, and the hunger we see in training um, on Wednesday nights, it's the, the level of effort um, and commitment is there, um, and it will just will start to reap the rewards on Saturdays. I think. I think we were getting overrun, and I think there was um, sort of a bit of confusion in terms of going whether we should go man for man, whether we should go zone, or um, you know some different communication going on so we just had to sort of like steady like you say make sure we got to half time and obviously with a bit of quality from Noah which has always got in his locker um, got us into it and I always thought second half that they would tire um, and we would come on strong um, but yeah like you said first half I think yeah they had a few players that were interchanging starting wide coming in and also causing us a problem in terms of over number us outnumbering us in midfield so we had to obviously sort that out instead of going zonal so instead of going man for man going a bit zonal so recovering areas but also what that meant was that when we did win the ball back we had areas to exploit especially in our fullback areas when they had um, their wingers coming in we could have gone wide so obviously on that sense you know and then we have been practicing a lot in terms of phases of play during a pre-season so i mean I, an assessment of the game we could have played a bit more football which I think we're trying to encourage everyone to because I think we're, we're a footballing team we're not really uh, you know a team full of brutes um, that want to sort of like muscle our way through games I think we've got a lot of technicians in our in our in our team so we need to obviously decide to be a bit more brave on the ball um, you know getting it from Jack distributing it from there um, and I think we'll get a lot more goals you know if you look at even last week kind of the goal we scored with um, Fred and Greg you know um, started from the right back um, you know, went into Greg, went into Fred, you know, those simple little patterns, I think we're trying to perfect it and that's what we're working in training a lot. So across, as long as we're going along the season, it'll get better and better and you'll start to see, I think, our distribution become much better and our decision making as well. Yeah, I mean, we're used to it from playing uh, training here, um, but I guess it is a bit weird playing grass than 4G. Um, because even the size of the pitch is different. Um, so we got used to playing at Spotted Dog week in, week out, and then coming over uh, pitch, grass pitch, and then the uh, 4G. It is, it is a bit difficult, but I mean, we, we, we used to playing on everything all the time, so it was pretty fun. The game could have swung on a few penalty appeals. What, what do you make of that without getting into trouble? Oh, um... Well, and I'm not going to do a bingo, I didn't see it, but I thought, I mean, <laughs> both, if they went to bar, they probably would have been given. So, again, when you're looking at it on a, on a different sort of day, R1 doesn't get given, they get given, you know what I mean? So we have to obviously call it quits and we'll kind of take away the points. But, you know, from, from what I was sitting, it, they both look like stone walls. So I expect them to be given, especially R1. I think everyone sort of stopped, but then, you know, everyone played on. So, um we're going to get that through the season. You know what it's like in the in league that we've got. It's, you're going to get those sort of decisions. So you just got to make sure you're in a position where you're not relying on those sort of decisions which can sway the result. So, um, but in general, I think he did well because maybe he wasn't meant to be the ref, to be honest. He's usually the linesman. So in general, I think he did, uh, did well.